Welcome to a special edition of Jim's Kids Kitchen. Come on in. Hey, I'm Chester Cheetah. I'm ready for some fun. Are you a fan of Cheetos? Absolutely. Well, I think we should take these Cheetos and make some macaroni. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Woo! Let's start by making the cookie. Yeah. We need 140 grams of almond flour and 130 grams of powdered sugar. Let's add those to a food processor. All right, Cheetah, thanks for getting that in the food processor. What we're gonna do is we'll just run it for a little bit, get the, the almond flour ground up a little bit and get it incorporated with the powdered sugar. All right, next step after the blending, we're gonna put it through the sifter and get out a lot of larger chunks. All right, the next step we're gonna do is we're going to separate our egg whites and then put them in the bowl that we're gonna make our meringue out of. A little touchy. That looks pretty good. And we want to get 100 grams of egg whites out of these. All right, next thing we're gonna add is about 90 grams of the uh, baker sugar and then a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar that's gonna get mixed in the meringue when we whip it up. This sure is a lot of great steps. I'm ready to learn some more, Alex. Well, I'm glad you're excited, Cheetah, because we still got plenty more to go. Um, so once we get our egg whites separated, we'll put them in the mixer. Um, I measured off that sugar and a little bit of cream of tartar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run this for a couple of minutes and then add the sugar in slowly so we can get it all dissolved into our liquids. Once it's dissolved, we can kick up the speed a little bit and get those meringues whipped up. All right, so we wanna add it in slowly because what we're looking for is we want all this to dissolve in that liquid before it starts whipping up. But I just gotta know, when's the Cheetos? They're coming, Cheetah, they're coming. Just give it a second. Okay. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our orange coloring to make the cookies an orange color for the Cheetos. All right, Cheetah, I think we got it done. Let's see. Oh, that's dangerously stiff. All right, Cheetah, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our egg whites here that are all whipped up Put it in the bowl, transfer in our dry ingredients, get that mixed up, and then after that, we'll start the macronage. All right, now that we got that all mixed in, we have to do the next step, which is called the macronage part, is where the cookie actually gets its name. Um, since this has a bunch of air in it, what we have to do now is just flatten that out, knock down some of that air, and get it more of like a batter consistency. All right, just fill up the piping bag. All right, Cheetah, I know you're impatient for those Cheetos. Let's get to piping. Are you ready to try this? Yes. All right, so you're just gonna take your bag and you're gonna just squish down the middle, let go and flick it and go to the next one. That's a nice flick. You ready? Up and down. There you go. Not bad. Let's give them a good bang. And now you're just gonna let them sit here for 45 minutes. And after that, put your oven on to 300 and bake them for 15. And they'll end up looking like this. You need to sprinkle some cheetah dust on top. This has regular Cheetos. This has flaming hot, dangerously cheesy. We need 90 grams of these orange melting chocolates. It ain't easy being cheesy. We'll microwave this in 30 second intervals. All right, we'll go ahead and ground up some Cheetos, 30 grams to make the mix for the ganache. Yeah. We're gonna get 45 grams of cream. Oh yeah. All 
All right, we add our Cheeto dust to the heavy cream. We'll bring that up to a little bit of a simmer and then we'll be ready to add it to the chocolate. Add and mix, add and mix. And here we've got that ganache. We've put it in a piping bag as well. And we're gonna be piping it on this half of the macaron. Pipe those beautiful cookies. Wow, that's a real thick, cheesy goo. We, we have, have ourselves some Cheeto macaron. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Cheeto y. Cheeto y. Sweet and delicious. Not the worst thing I've ever had. Mmm. Mmm. We're doing another round with flaming hot Cheetos inside. It's a darker color. <laughs> it's time to get spicy now. Let's go. Cheers. learning how to make macaron from you, Alex. Well, I'm glad you were able to cheese it up as much as you could. <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah! Why do cheetahs eat raw meat? Why? Because they don't know how to cook. 